When I was a child, I lived in a very dangerous home. It is my testimony that the Lord would walk in, meaning Jesus represented, would walk in and heal me and deliver me regularly. This went on for many years. He was the fourth man in my fire. Our God does miracles every day. We as the human beings involved in this partnership, because he's sovereign, but he gave us a peace and a partnership with him. Um, we've got to let go of our needs to control, our needs to think we've figured everything out. And we need to return to our childlike faith. I want to tell you about today a little bit. You know, I recently was in a service and I witnessed 90 people, to be very specific. They had needs in their body, and that could also be a need in your heart or your spirit, but they got healed, and they came up and gave a testimony of how long they had had that and what the Lord had done, and nothing else was done besides deep worship, just single-focused King Jesus worship. So I want you to know that he can do that for you today. I know that there's a lot of needs in the room. There's, we have needs up here, too. So, like, we're seeking after just pressing into his presence and letting God be God. So I do expect that people will be touched here during worship today. Um, you will hear some testimonies today. That's part of the plan. Um, we'll, uh, I've also seen people healed, like, I mean healed like this, when a brother or sister in Christ prayed with them. And all we do is partner, and we can't do anything that God does. We're just there. We're just his conduits. Holy Spirit, would you come in your power, help us pray today, soften our hearts, and break down our walls, and do what only you can do. Father, we thank you that you hear us. We thank you for your Son, and by his stripes we were healed. We thank you for the written word that never returns void, and that you honor your word above your own name. We thank you that you are a good father whose heart is not to give his children a stone when they've asked him for bread. We thank you that Jesus, our risen king, sits at your right hand and intercedes for us continually. John 10.10 10 tells us the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have life more abundantly. As we face an adversary for now on this earth, we are thankful that nothing ever separates us from your love and our inheritance in Christ Jesus. We thank you that Jesus is always the fourth man in our fire. Open our eyes that we may see the spiritual battle around us and know how to partner with you in the midst of our life. Thank you that you are the same yesterday and today and forever, and Jesus will return to right everything on earth, looking for those who have faith. Jesus Christ, thank you for the stripes you took. Help us walk into your full inheritance and blessing that we may be your conduits, your hands and feet on the earth to bring the Lamb of God the full reward of his suffering. You are the King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Every other God is an idol. Take every idol out of our lives today, Lord. Give us grace and wisdom to steward our life and every one of our blessings. We pray to see your glory fill this temple and change our world. You are our only first love, and we honor you. Father, we repent for making our experience trump your words at times. We repent for blaming you for the work of the adversary, for thinking we have it all figured out. Your ways are always higher than ours, but we trust in your good nature, in Jesus being the exact representation of you, and for the power of the Holy Spirit you have given us. We repent for any known or unknown ways we've accepted or agreed with the work of infirmity or evil in our lives. Right now, I bind spirits of infirmity and affliction under the sound of my voice throughout this building, online and at home, and I say, Jesus rebukes you. In his name, I command you to leave our people right now. From Genesis to Revelation, God, you are a redeemer, and we are so thankful that you are the God that sees, hears, and knows us. We surrender all we have and all we are to you. You are faithful and just. Father, we believe you. Help our unbelief. And everyone said, Amen.